Carnatic Wars. Before we take up the three Carnatic Wars, let me tell you about the main causes or reasons for the Carnatic Wars. The English and the French wanted to establish their political supremacy over our India during the same time in the regions of Hyderabad and Carnatic. Here children, Carnatic refers to eastern part of Tamil Nadu that is called Carnatic. Here political instability started in these two regions. The word political instability here it refers to internal struggle among the rulers. So, both the English and the French, they tried to take advantage of this situation. So, these are the main reasons for Carnatic Wars. See children, when two groups or rulers, they were fighting with each other, always the British used that opportunity and it was advantage for those British. Here, in Hyderabad, the rulers were called as Nizams. Whenever Hyderabad you are reading during the Carnatic Wars, the rulers we are using the word Nizam. That is in the place of Hyderabad. In Carnatic, the rulers were called by the name as Nawab. So, Nizam means Hyderabad, Nawab means Carnatic. So, in Hyderabad, in the year 1724, Asaf Jha he was the ruler or we can use the term here Nizam. He was the Nizam of Hyderabad. Those Dali, he was a feudatory of Asaf Zha. He was ruling over the Carnatic region. Carnatic region means you know already that is eastern part of Tamil Nadu was earlier called as Carnatic. This Dos Dali, he was not loyal for the Marathas. So, the Marathas, you know, they killed those Thali in the year 1740 and they looted Carnatic place and he, they imprisoned his son-in-law. He was Chanda Sahib in Satara place. So, now those Thali is no more because he was killed. So, somebody should become Nawab, right? So, Asaf Jha made Anwaruddin as the Nawab of Carnatic in the place of Dost Ali. Later, in the year 1748, Asaf Jha, who was Nizam of Hyderabad, he died. He had son, he was Nasir Jan, and his daughter's son, he was Muzaffar Jan. So, this Nasir Jan and Muzaffar Jan, that is, both of these persons, they started to fight to sit on the throne. Other side, what is the situation? Chanda Sahib. Chanda Sahib, children, I already told you, he was son in law of Dostali, who was imprisoned by the Marathas. Now, this Chanda Sahib was released from the prison. So, now this Chanda Sahib and Anwaruddin, they started to fight with each other. The French, you know, they supported for Muzaffar Jan in the place of Hyderabad and Chanda Sahib in Karnatik. Here the English, they supported to Nasir Jang. Nasir Jang was the son of Asafja who died in 1748, that already I told you. And the English also supported for Anwaruddin. Who is Anwaruddin here? Anwaruddin was the Nawab of Karnatik when Chanda Sahib was imprisoned. He was appointed as the Nawab of Karnatik. So now these two started fighting. I hope you are following the lesson children. Please you concentrate. In the year 1749, the combined forces of the French, Chanda Sahib and Muzaffar Jan, they defeated Anwaruddin and killed him in one of the battle. You know children, that battle is very famous in history as Ambur battle. Chanda Sahib and Anwaruddin were fighting for the throne. Now, Chanda Sahib became the Nawab of Karnatik. Anwaruddin had one son. He was Muhammad Ali. The English helped this Muhammad Ali to stay in the place of Tirchna Palli. 
This is the situation in the place of Karnatik. Which is Karnatik? The eastern part of Tamil Nadu was earlier called as Karnatik. Okay, this is the situation in the place of Karnatik, I told you. What is the situation then in the place of Hyderabad? Here in Hyderabad, Muzaffar Jan, he became the Nizam by killing Nasir Jan, by taking the support of the French and even the support of Chanda Saheb. Later, Muzaffar Jan was killed and Salabat Jan, who is this Salabat Jan here? He was another son of Asab Jha. He became the Nizam of Hyderabad as the French they gave support for him. This was the situation in Karnatik and even in the place of Hyderabad. See, first if you understand the situations in the place of Karnatik, which was eastern part of Tamil Nadu and in Hyderabad, then you can understand easily about all the three Karnatic wars. Now, first Karnatic war. The first Karnatic war was fought during the period of 1746 to 40. Eight. In First Carnatic War, La Bourdonnais, he was a French military leader from Mauritius. He invaded Madras and he captured this place. Who gave the order for this La Bourdonnais to capture the Madras place? This was the request made by Dupli. Who is this Dupli? This Dupli was the French Governor General who was very ambitious and clever who came to India in the year 1746. Now the British requested Anwaruddin who was the Nawab of Karnatik to help. So Anwaruddin sent an army but he failed to defeat the French at the place of Madras. Later La Bodanais he took money from the British and he gave Madras and went back to the place of Mauritius. See children, corruption was there even during that time, right? This was not accepted by Dupli and he honestly tried to take Madras but failed. Finally, the first Carnatic War ended with a treaty between the English and the French. This of course okay the treaty was signed in Europe but this became very familiar as one of the treaty that is called Treaty of Aix La Chapel. So the first Carnatic war ended with the treaty Aix La Now second Carnatic war which was fought during 1749 to 54. Here the French made Salabajan. Who is this Salabajan? He was another son of Asab Jha. He became the Nizam of Hyderabad and later Buzi, who is this Buzi here? This Buzi was an officer. He was stationed in the place of Hyderabad to give protection for Salabat Jan. This was decided by the French. In Carnatic, already Chanda Saheb became the Nawab, getting support by the French. Later, one of the capable person from East India Company, he was Robert Clive. Robert Clive, you know children, he was working as a young clerk in the British East India Company in the beginning. But later, you know children, you will come to know in future, in some other topic you will get the idea. He, because of his efficiency, because of his hard work, he became the British Governor General also. Now here, during the Second Carnatic War, this Robert Clive of East India Company, he attacked Arcot. Where was this Arcot place? This Arcot was the capital of Carnatic. And Robert Clive defeated Chanda Saheb and Chanda Saheb again he was imprisoned and later he was killed. Now the English made Muhammad Ali as the Nawab of Carnatic. Who is this Muhammad Ali children? Muhammad Ali was the son of Anwaruddin. So this second Carnatic war ended with the treaty. The treaty came to be known as Treaty of Pondicherry. Later the French recalled Dupli 
who was the French Governor General. So, this second Carnatic War was advantage for the British, but the French suffered a setback. I hope you are following this second Carnatic War. So, this is related with second Carnatic War, where the French did not get the victory, but it was advantage for the British. Moving on, third Carnatic War, which was fought during the period of 1756 to 1763. In 1760, Count D. Lally, who is this Count D. Lally children? Here, this Count D. Lally was French officer. He tried to occupy the place of Van de Bosch. Where is this Van de Bosch? Van de Bosch is the place which comes near Pondicherry. So, this came to be known as Battle of Van de Bosch. In this battle, Sir Ayrkut, he was one of the British person working in the British army. So, he defeated the French and he imprisoned Vizzi. Count de Lally, you know that he was a French person. This person, Count de Lally, he escaped from the place and he was hiding in the place of Pondicherry. Finally, Ayrkut, who was from the British side, he attacked Pondicherry and Count de Lally, he surrendered in the year 1761. So, because of this third Carnatic War, the British got victory and the French lost all their bases in our India. You know children, in the year 1765, the third Carnatic War ended with one of the treaty. The treaty came to be known as Treaty of Paris. Now later, Pondicherry, some of the places like Mahe, they were all handed over to the French. Mahe, Pondicherry, these places, you know, these French, they started to have their hold in only those places, but all the other places or trade centers, they were not capable of controlling those areas. This was the decision taken by the British East India Company. So, Third Carnatic War made the French to lose all their territories except Pondicherry and all and the French lost their importance also in our India. These Carnatic Wars, you know children, that made the British to consolidate their power over our India. So, this is related with three Carnatic Wars which fought between the French and the English where the French lost all their importance or territories in our India and the British got the victory. I hope you have understood the lesson children.